Johnny Sauter. He won at Daytona earlier this year. Can he do it again? They wreck behind him. They're rolling behind him. Now the 88 spins. Thor Sport is going to win. It's going to be Johnny Sauter that will get the win, but they wreck behind him. In 2013, Miguel Paluto flipped over on his roof at Talladega Super Speedway. But new NASCAR fans might have questions about this crash. How did Paluto flip? How did the crash start? Why did the 32 spin the number 4? Well, today I'll try to answer those questions to the best of my abilities by breaking down the crash in full detail. It's 2013, and the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series returns to Talladega for the Fred's 250. The race had been your average Talladega race, close racing, bump drafting, and the big one. Actually, a few big ones. It all happened eventually. On the white flag coming to the checkered, Miguel Paluto was bump drafting with the number 4 of Jeff Burton, when Paluto delivered a push that was a little too hard to the back of the number 4 of Burton. In case you're underwear, in NASCAR, it is legal to push the car in front of you using the lead car's draft. This is called bump drafting, and oftentimes leads to an incident when you push on the car too violently. Anyways, Paluto pushed Burton too hard, and Burton began to spin up the racetrack. Burton goes up the racetrack and hits the number 51 of Kyle Busch. When Burton hits Kyle, all the energy essentially gets reversed, and Burton shoots back down the racetrack. Kyle Busch also spins because he was hit in the left rear. Kyle Busch and Jeb Burton hit Miguel Paluto directly in his right rear and into the number 54 of Bubba Wallace. Johnny Sauter, he won at Daytona earlier this year. Can he do it again? They wreck behind him. They're rolling behind him. Now the 88 spins. Thor Sport is going to win. It's going to be Johnny Sauter that will get the win, but they wreck behind him. Matt Crafton has not got to the start finish line yet. And they're still wrecking. Crafton does slide by the start finish line. The 32 of Miguel Paluta was upside down. It's on fire now. The general force that Paluta was hit with and how quickly he turned sideways caused him to weight shift and flip onto his driver's side window net. If you want a more descriptive version of a weight shift, check out the Time of Jeski flip video as I pretty much break down the weight shift in full right there. Anyways, Paluta flips on his driver's side window and slides up the racetrack. Once Paluto gets to the bottom middle lane, his truck rotates onto his roof. Paluto continues up the racing surface, doing about one more rotation and slamming his passenger side into the outside retaining wall. Almost as soon as he hit the wall, Clay Greenfield in the number 68 runs into Paluto's driver's side while his truck is still up against the wall. Paluto rides on his roof all the way from the exit of the trioval to just a few feet from the start finish line. And just before the start finish line, Paluto rolls over through his driver's side door and comes to rest on all fours with his hood on fire. Not much can be said about this crash. It was a typical truck series weight shift that happens every now and then. I hope you enjoyed this video. This will be a new series I start explaining auto racing flips. This will also be the last time you have to hear me read this whole thing out. I'll mainly stick to NASCAR, but if you want to suggest a flip me, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.